Hey guys, how's it going? I am reaching out to all of my subscribers and viewers today with a little something different. So before you click off this video, please just hear me out. Um, my local sailing club at Southwold is in a little bit of a situation. Some of you may know that I'm heavily involved in our sailing club here and my relatives have been involved since the day it began in 1949, which is 75 years ago. I'm the third generation of my family to have been the Commodore and I'm currently the president of the club. Back in the early 1980s, our dedicated members installed our current boat launching facility, which is what we call a slipway. And over the years, it started to break up and we've been losing the bottom sections into the river. Recently, we've managed to retrieve the bottom sections that have fallen in the river, but it's basically meant that launching dinghies at our club has become very difficult and as a result has majorly impacted how much we can outreach to our community. The access that we can provide to the water for people is nowhere near as accessible as what it used to be and that is having a massive hindrance on our sailing training programmes that we offer to members and uh, general open days and just general day-to-day -day sailing activities. have been working on a fundraising campaign to try and raise the funds to be able to replace our dinghy launching facility which will essentially safeguard the club and secure its future for generations to come. Most of our members have got really kind of cheap boats and have learnt to sail here. So we are, we're doing our bit for the, for the bottom end here. We do host a few open meetings and the occasional championships here as well, which is great. So basically our campaign is to save our slip and we are trying to raise £80,000. Our first part of this fundraising campaign has been a crowdfunder to raise £30,000. We are currently at £27,000, which is amazing. We've had £15,000 of match funding awarded from Sport England. We've done lots of internal fundraising from our members and we've had an amazing response from the members of our community. Um, and that has really helped us to get to £27,000. However, the clock is ticking and we have got just under two weeks left. So the campaign closes on the 17th of November. And that brings me to here. And it's not something that I'd usually do, is, is ask for money from people. Um, but I'm incredibly passionate about this cause. I'm incredibly passionate about helping people get afloat and begin their sailing journey, which is kind of what my channel on YouTube is all about. A little bit about the project, we basically, we've already removed the bottom two bays of concrete that were broken up and falling in the river. That was at a cost to the club, so that's cost us £7,000 to remove that. And what we need to do now is have a, a specialist company come in and install steel sheet piling around the perimeter of the slipway, and then they can then fill in the area, which will then provide an all tide launching facility. So we have a rise and fall of two metres as the tide comes in and out. It's about two metres and our slipway will slope all the way down to the water's edge at the lowest of tides, which means that sailing can take place at Southwold any time of the day. Whereas at the moment we can only provide sailing activities around high water. So the problem is if we don't reach the £30,000 by the 17th, we are going to lose the £15,000 match funding, which is going to turn our whole campaign around. We're kind of, if we get to £30,000, then we've really got the ball rolling, and then we just need to secure funding from some grants and some charities, which we've already identified. But if we don't reach our target, then we're going to take a massive step backwards. And it's really, I mean, like the future of our club is so uncertain if we don't manage to secure the funds that we need. Um, but yeah, I'm really reaching out to you guys. If you can help me out, then um, just one or two pounds or dollars will just go such a massive 
massive distance. We've got a group of, of really dedicated volunteers who spend their time, you know, and my time as well, one of those volunteers, um, encouraging people and helping them get afloat, either using our club training fleets or helping them buy their first boat. We support them right from the very beginning, you know, right into into the point where they're, they're a very independent sailor, which is amazing. It's great to be a part of that. Um, so, yeah, if, if you can help us out, um, I've put a link in the description which will take you to our crowdfunder campaign where you can see our main campaign video which our uh, Commodore Henry um, will uh, will take you through a little bit more about the project and what it means to uh, some of our junior members and uh, if, if this is for you then you can make a donation um, via that link and I will also pop a link in there to our website so you can actually check out a little bit more about our memberships and you know um, about what the club is all about and a little bit more about the history as well. The club has given me a, a lifetime of joy sailing and uh, and yeah it's basically all the sailing I know has really come out of Southwold and my children are now enjoying sailing here as are lots of other children and families and single people and couples and it's just a great place to be um, and also if you are in the vicinity of us then you can always come down to Southwold and uh, give me a heads up let me know when you're coming and uh, I can help you get out on the water for for a couple of hours and, and show you around the club and meet a few people and you can even come down and check out what our project's all about um, so yeah I hope you don't mind me asking but I've, at this stage I'm kind of like getting pretty desperate and need to need to reach out and and try and rally up as much support as possible otherwise I've got some other videos coming out over the winter I've got lots of projects to do on a lease I've got to install new rigging um, I'm gonna take my keel out and have that blasted and epoxy coated and fared and new keel studs on that and a new lifting mechanism and uh, a few other projects here and there um, so yeah stick around for that and um, thanks a lot guys check out the link and uh, anything that you can do I really 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 appreciate it so thanks a lot cheers